Hi, this is Rochelle, and today we're going to be going to a WordPress site, picking a theme and customizing it. So let's get started. The first thing that uh, you want to do is you want to go over to your Google, um, your internet. Make sure you are on the right Google account. So if you just click into your avatar here, you're going to see um, whether you're on the right Google account and it'll just come up like that. If you're not, then you can sign out of this account, the account you're in, and just add the right account, okay? So now once you're in the right account, you see these uh, dots that are here on the upper uh, right-hand side. You're gonna click in here, and you're going to see a number of uh, different apps that come up. Okay, once you're in the right account, you should be able to go to your Gmail that you have. That will be this account. And it should open for you. Okay. You should also be able to go into your YouTube. Because these are all different places that uh, we're going to be using. So that you're in your right, the right channel if you have more than one channel. Okay. And the next place that you need to go is if you have um, a password manager and you need to um, go in there and log into your WordPress. Okay, so what I've done is I just put uh, the information here. I, I do want it to remember me. If you don't have an actual um, uh, password manager on your phone, write down your password, your information, and log in. This is important. If you forget your information, you're going to spend 10-15 minutes trying to get the information back. Okay, so now as I'm logging in, taking a bit for me to log in. And that's okay because as long as this circle is moving up here, it means your computer is doing something. And don't click any other, don't click a mouse and don't do anything else because then you're going to confuse your computer. Okay, and I want to save that that's now asking me do I want to save this password and yes I do I do want to save this password so now I've now saved the password to this new uh, WordPress okay now this is just going to be a, a short video on um, how to add a new theme and to start to customizing it so you're going to go to your right hand side where it says appearance and then into your theme. This is the theme, your, your theme that you're working on right now is gonna come up, as well as give you a choice of other themes as well. Okay, so you can choose from the different uh, Sorry, you're going to go to your WordPress org themes, click that, and then this should bring up a number of different other themes that are down here. Now, picking a theme is very important. 
And um, the reason it's important is because it's going to display what you need. And there's a number of different ones here. Um, you, you can get from what it's saying here, this is eating the place, and this would mostly be geared to restaurants and foods. Uh, this is uh, international business. This is um, geared to your business. And you can do a details and a preview. And I'm just going to do a, a details and a preview. Uh, sorry, I'm just going to do a preview right now just to show you that this is what it's going to look like. This is basically what your theme is going to look like. It tells you the elements. It tells you what each definition is. Your elements, your HTML, um, and it shows you what is available on this theme. Okay, so if you like that theme, you can install it, but we're not going to do that right now because I'm going to look around for um, other themes. Okay. So my present theme that I have right now is um, if you want to check your present theme, you would just click in into themes again, or actually into customize, and then your theme will come up and it'll say customizing your theme. Okay, so say you wanted to do something um, artistic. So you wanted to use sketch. So we could preview this one as well. This is basically uh, what it's going to look like coming up. And if that's something that you're interested in, you can install it, but um, I'm going to look a little further. Let's look at the popular ones. There's also a, a little um, search bar here, featured, popular, latest, favorites, premium. You can also choose uh, premium if you want to um, have a, a premium site, which is one, one that will cost you money. It's up to you whether you want to use a free site or a premium site. So, let's go into the latest ones that were developed. This one looks interesting and um, I'm going to go into the preview. So it's just building the preview right now. This is uh, basically what it's going to look like, but um, I'm just going to install it. So this is now installing this theme that uh, I've chosen. And then you have to click activate. Activating the theme. Now all the information that you have in your WordPress right now, it will, some of it will be transferred over. Um, now, the next thing that you do is you would go to this one here, which is customize. That's on the left hand side, right under themes, under appearances, and it'll say that you are customizing your site that you chose. 
okay? So what it's done is it's taken some of the pictures that I've already put in and it's um, given me other information, okay? All right, so now with this one, when you look at your site identity, okay, this is your first button and it's mostly the same on all the themes. You just click into here and it'll say select a logo and if you have a logo then just select this button here and um, I believe that I do have one that's in here I'm just gonna see so, there we go okay so I'm just gonna select this I'm gonna make sure that I have this a little bit more and then there we go and then um, crop your image and you put your logo in there then you're going to have your site title if you want to have a site title and I'm just going to say port to port McNichol because this is the uh, website that I'm doing right now and then you're going to have a tagline and uh, my tagline is the brand that I'm branding this under which is putting Port McNichol on the map okay now as you can see it also has now put in a site um, icon but you can change that now it has to be 512 by 512 pixels and you can do that um, I, I did it on paint just go into your computer and down to oops down to where it says the Windows accessories click on the this is if you're using um, uh, the Microsoft Windows okay and then click on um, paint Paint is going to come up and you're going to go into your resize and you want to take out that maintain aspect ratios and just have your 512 horizontal, 512 vertical and resize. Okay, so this is the size here, and then you're going to just uh, paste something, a picture that I have already, and um, I'm just going to take, I'm going to go into my quick access and uh, take a picture that I'm already using for my site icon, and I'm going to use, I guess, I think I can use that one. Oops. No. Sorry. I did the wrong thing. But what you're going to do is you are going to do the resize and then make sure that you have your 12 by 12, which is your measurements, and then you're going to download. I, what I tried to download was a, a banner. So we don't want to do that. So I just want to take a, a picture and uh, and download. So there we go. Uh, I want to make sure that I do have this resize to the right. I did have one that was done. So okay and then you would save that just go save as as a, a ping and then you would then 
let me just get out of here for a second. You would then take this, just gonna close that for a second. You would then take that and upload it to there. And that is what I did. And then you would click publish. You have to make sure you click publish because if you don't click publish, you are going to run into a problem. Any work that you you have done so far is not going to be saved. Okay. Now that's your site identity, and next is your colors. Your header co color, which is this color here, it's in black. You can change it. Say I wanted to change it to a different color. Oops, sorry. Say I wanted to change it to blue. And then click. And my background color to a, a, lighter, a lighter blue. Okay, and then this is the background. Uh, you have to read these because they're all different and you're different customizing. Select the background color for the top bar. I'm just going with the blue right now. And then the uh, color for the footer is blue. Uh, I'm going to make it, I guess, a darker. And then click publish. So while it's publishing, you can now have a look at, um, you can wait and then have a look at um, what it looks like to see whether you like it or not. Now the colors you use are important because you don't want to use something that is going to be hard on being able to read it or too too uh, bright or maybe too dull so as it's saving which I'm waiting for it to do right now it's still doing that Just gonna close down my paint because it's um it's taking up the space that I need for this to be able to publish quicker. Okay, so as it's still processing, you can move around but don't try to change anything else. Okay, like as in don't click publish while this is still doing that. Okay, so this is basically what it looks like from what I've put in. The colors that I'm using. Okay, so now it says this is going to be the header image. And I want to add a new image. So I'm going to just use this image for now because I haven't really gotten anything else. And I'm just going to use a part of it because this is how big the header is. So about a 
maybe something like that. And I'm just going to crop the image. Now this is being done all in real time, so this is why it's taking longer for things to uh, move along in this tutorial. And as soon as this disappears, then it will be done because it's still doing it. Okay, so now you can also you could also add new. Say I wanted to um, add another image um, to upload a file. Just going to upload an image from my quick access, I think. Um, let me see. I'm just going to upload um, one that I've used from before. Let me just upload this. And okay, now. It's good to always make sure that you have anchor tags. So um, either have some information that you have copied that you can copy and paste, or just type it in and copy and paste it. Okay, so this is actually the caption and this is the alt text now the alt text is actually called your anchor text and this will show even if the picture does not show and on some computers it doesn't show or it takes a while to come in depending on the computer okay and there we go. There is one that I would rather be using that has the larger numbers on it, the larger letters and, and that on it, but I'm not going to take the time right now to, to change it. Um, somehow I see that something has happened here. And I think it may want me to sign in again. Okay, so getting back there. Let me just see what has happened here. I just need to get out of this situation here for a second and find out why does it want me to sign in. No, it seems to be okay okay so now this is the one that we're using right there so now getting back into our customizing following this here make sure that we have all the information, see portal to port, putting port with nickel on the map, portal to port with nickel. Okay, I see that I have too much here, so I'm going to take that out. And publish it and see what it looks like. Okay. Gonna put something different in now. Um, I 
I'm just going to put XYZ. <laughs> That's just as a placeholder right now because I haven't really thought of what else to put in there yet. Actually, I have um, explore okay I'm just putting that in for now and I'm just going to publish that now on every different theme it everything's going to be different as I'm going to show you okay so this is the information that I've put in so far I put in the site identity and the colors and I've also put in the header image and I've also randomized it so I actually haven't randomized it yet but I am going to click randomize so that means it'll show this header one time and it'll show this header another time now I am going to pick different headers but And it also tells you, like, this is the best size, the 1600 by 400. But you will we'll be able to crop it. So I'm just going to publish that. And now I have it randomizing. Okay. So now getting into your background image. Now, if you, there's a background image is going to be here. So you can select an image that you want to use. Um, say I wanted to select this and choose. Now, here it's going to show you what it's doing here. Repeat? No. I don't want to repeat it. So now it's going to be up in the there. Say I want it to be there, it'll be in the middle, or if I wanted it over here, it'll be over here. And this is going to show differently. Okay? So, if I wanted it to be here, it would be there, or down here, which is further down here. Okay? So just for the sake of right now, I am just going to have it in the middle. It says scroll with the page and I don't really want it to scroll with the page because, well, I guess I could have it scrolling with the page, but it's up to you. And then click publish. Okay. So. Now we've gone through the site identity, the colors, the header image, the background image, and now your menus. View location. Okay, this is going to show you where your menus are. And your menus are right here. Okay, this is called an element. This is the primary menu. If you want to click into there, you will see that this is my site title, my tagline. Sorry, that was not the menu, that was the site identity. Going back into the menus, I would like to view the location, so please show me. Um, Say I wanted to create a new menu, I would then say my primary uh, menu is going to be projects. And I'm just going to click that.
Okay, so now I've created a menu called Projects, and I'm going to say automatically add top level pages to this menu. That's every page that I do is going to be added to this menu. So I'm just going to click that and I'm going to publish it. See how this is scrolling with the page like I asked it to? Okay. So now I'm going back. The next one is widgets. And the widgets that are already here is search, recent posts, recent uh, comments, archives, categories, meta information, gallery, and uh, calendar. Okay? So basically, these have been added before. And say so I wanted to move one up so that I have my calendar coming up to the front, like right on the top. There's the calendar right there. Okay, so I want my calendar there. Next, I want my recent posts. Um, I don't really want my recent comments on the top, so I'm going to to put them on the bottom. Okay, and as I'm moving these widgets around, you will see that things are changing, okay? Um, I am going to move my video under my recent post, and this is going to be a video um, that is going to be uh, coming up. And I have nothing in my video yet, and then I'm going to have my archives. I'm going to have them again down at the bottom. I'm going to move my gallery up. I have nothing in the gallery right now, so what I'm going to show you is two things. One is um, in, in your gallery, okay, I've titled it Pinterest, and I'm going to uh, add images so that you can see. They'll say that I am going to add my first image. Um, I'm going to upload a, an image. Actually, I'm going to use an image from here which is this image here, which is, I, I have to get some more images that I'm going to use. Okay. And this is going to be my first. And then insert the gallery. Okay. And then I want to, again, edit, add to gallery, upload file, this is the second way, the file that you want to upload. Now I do have to check out these pictures because um, I have to see if they're copyrighted and I haven't been able to, I have not had the chance to actually ha get my pictures um, that I'm using. And to make sure that you put your information in for the anchor text, which is important. I'm trying not to take up your time because I realize that um, it's hard to and update the gallery. Okay, but eventually what I'm going to do is I am going to go to uh, Pinterest and I'm just going to show you this just to begin with so that 
you can see how everything is going to fit together with the WordPress site. And because I am now in the other Google, the, the Google for Port McNichol, I am not going to be able to sign in because I will be creating another Pinterest um, and not going into the one that I already have. Okay, so this is my Pinterest here. And I want to go into my uh, board that I created for uh, Port McNichol. Okay, so I just want to go anywhere in this board. Oops, sorry, in this board. No, I don't want to change that. No, you don't want to do that. So just I just want to look in my board. Okay. And I want to take an image um, that I'm already using right here. save this image and I'm just going to put it save it in um, in my desktop as um, uh, Port McNichol business one Okay, so now I'm going to save that. Now I'm going to now go from my Pinterest back in here, back to my gallery, click Edit, Add to Gallery, Upload File, select the file I want, which I just saved. in my desktop right there. I'm going to open it. Ah, sorry. I'm just going to find the file now and I'm going to open it, bring it down. Now, you could either do this now or uh, go back to Pinterest and get the information that you want. Uh, let's see. What is the information in here? Let's have a look at this information. I haven't got any information about this yet. So that's not going to help me here. I need to have a link to this. Doomsday Blooms. So we're doing another step now. We're going to look on the internet since I didn't have the information that I was looking for. Okay, so Doomsday Blooms. actually looking for the image. Okay. Just going to take this right here, this information, and copy it. And now go back into my information here. And I want to 
put this into the description, but I want to make sure that it's not part of... Um... Now, I haven't done this before. So, because it's different, because I normally do have my information, so I'm not sure if this is going to actually copy this or not, but I'm going to be able to save this or not, or it's going to say I can't save it because it's the links, but I'm going to add that to my gallery, update my gallery. And see if it allows me to do that. Looks like it's auto saving it, and there it is right there. And I now have that there, and I'm going to click publish. So, do you see how I'm using my Pinterest in with my uh, WordPress? Okay. Now, the next one in the widgets that I'm using right here is categories and in order not to use the um, uncategorized then you need to make categories so I'm going to have a category called projects and use that Okay. Now, this this uh, meta information is um, something you can use, or you can actually remove it. It's up to you, and also the archives, and of the recent comments. And then if you want to add another widget, you click your add a widget there, and then you click something else that you would like to add. You could add custom HTML, which is just little bits of uh, computer information that you can copy um, from different areas and put it in there. You can add another gallery. Say if I wanted to add another gallery, I could add, say I wanted um, pictures from a Facebook, I could also add that gallery as well, or I could add, you could add a gallery of, of things that you want to display, or if you wanted um, just one image. And you can also add that. In order to add a widget, you just click on it, and and it will automatically add your widget and you can move it up and down depending on uh, where whoops where you want it to go and I actually have just now put it on the top which is not something that I wanted to do I just wanted to have it down here at the bottom And every time you click into one of these here and you open it up, you have to make sure you close it. All right, so let's say I just put my image up here. And then you add a widget. You can add in a navigation menu. You could put an opt in monster campaign if you're using the opt in monster. A list of your different pages if you want them going to your different pages. It's just a way of navigation, creating another menu. Recent post, which is already there, and the RSS or Atom feed um, from any other place that you want to get information from. You could also do a tag cloud, um, which is just going to be a show of all your keywords that you use, put on your. Um, on your WordPress. So now we get to the ultimate social media icons.
this should actually be a um, a tutorial all in itself. There's your ours, there's your Facebook and your Google Plus and your Twitter and this is where say I wanted to go to um, Facebook I actually like the other ones better than than these ones because it, the other ones um, are so much easier to deal with okay so I need to go to the plugin page see they've changed it so now we need to go to the plugin page. Uh, we need to publish this. And where where is the plugin page? I'm going to show you. Go back to your dashboard. And here in the plugins, it says installed plugins, add new. Okay, first of all, we're going to look at the installed plugins. We're going to see what plugins are there to begin with. This is all part of customizing your theme. Okay, so you you can see you have the uh, Akismet anti spam. You have Google Analytics for WordPress. <laughs> Hello Dolly Jetpack Materials Companion. Now I believe that this is here is a plugin that's used with this theme. Social media and share icons. Okay. So you're gonna click first of all. You're going to find it here in your plugins, or you are going to have to, if you don't have it, is to go into Add New. Oops. Add New. And you're going to see this right here. Come here and... <clears throat> Look for social media. Icon. Okay, so this is the one that I have. <coughs> oh, excuse me. This is the one that I have in. You could also put this one in, or you could put, put this one in, or this one in, like depending on what you're interested in doing. I just put the first one in right there. And I, I will show you, it says compatible, but I'm going to install this one just to show you. I'm installing it right now. Oh batteries low. I need to plug my my laptop in before I lose my everything here. Okay. Okay, uh so now I've it, I've uh, installed it because you'll see that see these ones say install now. Well, this one says activate. So now I'm going to activate this. Now I already have one activated. So, this is the one that I want to activate here. 
and you'll see information here coming up. Okay. So you find it on your left hand corner. Okay, now this one you can choose. Sorry, you can choose the site. Okay, so they would like us to do a bank a backlink to their site. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to enable that. Okay. Now you can choose. You can choose the size that you want here, or the one that that I'm using. It's still doing the backlink. And then you can choose what, how you want it to look. I like this one the best, so I'm going to choose that one. It's already chosen. And you can choose it by clicking on these buttons right here, these radio buttons. So I'm going to check that, check that one. You can also reorder if you want your Facebook first. And then your Twitter. Um, Google Plus, I like Pinterest being up there second. Um, and then Twitter, YouTube, Google+, LinkedIn, um, Instagram, and RS Feed. So these are the social me uh, icons that you're going to use, which means you have to have an account in Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, YouTube, Google+, LinkedIn, Instagram, and your RS Feed. Okay? Now, where to find your information? Okay, this is going to take another uh, tutorial, but basically I'm going to do the first couple here. Um, for instance, you want to get your information for your um, Facebook. Okay, I'm going to show you how to do that. Just go to Facebook. Actually, I'm going to go to my Facebook. Um, This is one of the Facebook groups that I belong to, so I could actually go here and I could take this information just right off the top right there and click copy that, go back here, and now put it into this box right here, which is the Facebook profile. Do you see how I didn't have to actually go in anywhere and do anything okay so this is this is just an example um, let's go to the YouTube one there's YouTube right there and I am going to take this I'm not going to take this whole information here because um, you view as a subscriber does not it doesn't matter I just want to get the information for the channel which is not actually showing me and again there we go just go back there all right so just take it right up to the last letter that you see and if you want to check it to make sure you've got the right information just go into a new um, a new window, paste your information in, and click. And it, it comes up and, and you don't have the other information in there that you have to worry about. So that's the two different places that you can go to just to begin with. And I'm just going to put that in there. Okay. This is just part of the information that I need.
save your configuration. Now, going back into my um, customize, I'm going to show you where that's going to show up. You're going to go back into your uh, uh, widgets. And where it says here, as you could see here, wait a minute. Why is it showing up here? Okay, so this is, this is, oh, because it's floating, okay. And the different ones that I put in were the Facebook and the YouTube. And it goes along the page. So it floats along the page. So let me just click that. Please like and follow us. Um, okay. So that's done. And actually, this is not the correct widget. This is a different one. So you're actually going to see that it's going to be also here as well. The information. Let me just now click into the Facebook. Okay, so now going back, I don't want to get you confused with this. Going back, we're going to now go into the home page settings. Why is this important? Okay, the, the first thing to do is to check to see whether you want your latest post to come up. That means every post that you make will come up first, or you want a static page. See, I'm not liking these floating ones, so I may not want to use that. So this is where my latest posts are going to come up. It says, hello world here. That's a post um, that is there already. Or if you want a static page, it means that this page is going to, uh, when it comes in, that this page is always going to come up, okay, or you can add a new page. This is your front page. And it looks like I did already add a new page, but I'm just going to, you can just click add a new page and, um, Let's just say projects. Okay, so just add that. Okay, so now this page is a page that is going to come up all the time. Or see if static and you wanted to change that back to this page, oops, sorry, but back to the front page, then there's the front page right there, and then you have a different post page, and you have to decide what page do you want for your posts, so I'm just going to put projects for my post page, that's where all my posts are going to go. Now, this down here is going to show you what your uh, website is going to look like. This is on a computer. This is on a tablet. And this is on a phone. Okay, and as you can see, this here, of course, this is going to be taken out. So, we're going to publish that. And then go back again. Now this particular uh, theme has a, a slider settings. We can get into that and we can use that if it's something that 
you want to do you could have it sliding with your phone number or you could add an email address it's up to you like for instance I'm just going to put email address in here And I'm going to click publish and then go back okay so now let's have a look at the finished product of what what we've done so far go to visit your site now remember this is not launched yet so basically this is what it looks like you put your header in here, you put your, um, your logo, you've created your front page, um, you've used your widgets now and created some other, um, you've created your uh, gallery and um, you've created your menus, okay? so. Here is my menu here. This is where my first menu uh, shows up and it's called projects. So if I click in projects right here, this will be my menu. Okay, this will be my menu. And um, I hope this has been helpful and have yourself a great day.